Hi guys, welcome back uh, to my Fly Time channel. So uh, tonight what we're going to do is we're going to tie another one of these blast from the past uh, flies. Uh, so this one is I suppose right back from the early days of sort of lure conception uh, and this one is the Jersey Herd. Uh, so this, as far as I know it's from the 70s and the reason it's called the Jersey Herd is because it was tied with the foil from a milk bottle. Uh, which is an old gold style of colour which I suppose people look for but it's very hard to replicate so it's not going to be identical colour wise here but uh, hopefully we'll be somewhere in the, the region so what we do here is we're going to use a black thread because this fly ultimately has a black uh, head on it and this is a standard lure, so this is a B830 in a size 8. So, uh, I'm going to put on a little bit of uh, lead wire, just to give us a little bit of weight, but also to help us build up a profile of this fly. So essentially it's like a big nymph. Uh, so I'll wrap that lead wire on, hopefully in ish turns and that just gives us a, a weight but also to say that little bit of uh, like a body shape to this flight and then I will super glue that to keep it in position so Next what I'm going to do is to tie in a length of copper wire. Tie that in, leave it on at the back here. So, uh, it's time now to build up the shape of our body. So this fly has quite a tapered sort of a shape to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start behind my uh, lead wire and you can see I'm wrapping back and then a little bit more uh, over itself each time so we end up with that nice taper and then we'll go forwards Start going over our lead wire. I'm twisting my floss here now just to take the the twist out of it. And therefore it'll lay, lay flatter and then I can, by wiggling it here, you'll see it sort of catching, widening itself and that will end up leaving me with a nice, fairly smooth, hopefully, underbody. Put a half hitch on that. Over it. Now I can come over this in uh, in black thread and it is white for the reason that I'm going to do a double layered body. If you were to do a single layered body then I'd suggest that you use some sort of like a, an orange or gold coloured uh, floss. So the closest thing I can find is this sort of coppery coloured old gold type lamella is maybe a little bit on the copper side but uh, just as I said, the the old gold uh, milk top color this is a very hard one to, to replicate and what I'm going to do is just to varnish in our body and that will just uh, waterproof it and secure all that so we're going to tie in our tinsel here. And 
then wrap it backwards. I try and get it touching, but it doesn't overly matter on this layer because uh, we're going to go back over it. And as you can see, even with wrapping on that, there is a little bit of uh, our varnish popping through. I've cut the tinsel on the hoop. Get to the front and tie it in. And I'm going to wrap a little bit back because there is like a front strange sort of a head shape on this one. And that's our sort of old gold type uh, tinsel body. So for the tail, the back, the front of this uh, is a bunch of peacock curl. And even though it looks fairly ugly, they did cut this off square at the back. Um, so if we take a bunch of peacock curls from maybe five or six or so in a bunch, measure them up so they're longer than intended. And then we're gonna tie that in on top. I'm going to do one turn of my tinsel or uh, wire, sorry, to, to start this, and then I turn straight across the back, and then I'm going to come forward in big wide turns, so maybe four or five turns till we get to the front here. Fold this back, wrap that down, and once you've several wraps on, you can snap it. So say tail wise you could if you wanted match up the tips and make it uh, a nice natural sort of looking but most of the ones I've ever seen of it were just cut square so we will now tie that backwards because that's uh, just to get it out of the way for now and then what we're going to do is we're going to put on a orange cock hackle so I have one here now I have doubled this and I do have videos in a in technique in my techniques section and there should be a link up in the corner and the little I button uh, where it, it should take you to uh, to our techniques so we're gonna put that on there and then wrap the hackle I'm just folding it back each time so my fingers are getting in the way but it's a functional part of wrapping so wrap that, tie across it trim that off and then I'm going to take that through there. And that just separates out the, the hackle. Fold any fibers back that are in the way. And then I'm going to flip my fly because what I'm going to do is to spin the peacock curl around my thread and that means that as I wrap it I have a core of thread to it and that'll make it more secure and then we just get this sort of dumpy peacock curl head at the, at the front of this fly, come on. Doesn't want to behave itself. And then we want 
to unravel that once we've enough of it wrapped on and tie in across it. Flip them back. Trim that. And then create a whip finish or a head, whatever way you do it. I do it with my fingers. Most people will do it with a whip finish tool, I suppose. Trim that off. And I like to just get a little bit of super glue or use clear varnish, whatever you want. But that is our fly tied. I said blast from the past, the jersey herd. Um, something tells me that it actually got banned at one point because it was so effective. Um, but anyway, if you like what you see, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.